Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video, I have a 2012 Ford Explorer Limited and I will show you how to reset the Ford Sync. This video will apply to Ford Explorers made from 2011 all the way up to 2019. Now you might want to do this reset in case you're having problems with the main radio screen. For example, it freezes, goes blank or is non-responsive. If you keep pressing onto the options and nothing happens or it's very slow, you also might want to do it if you're having problems with the Bluetooth, the backup camera, things like that. So first I will show you, let's call it the soft reset, which you can do here through the system. but. Uh, if for some reason your screen is completely blank I will show you how to do the hard reset I will show you the fuse location you'll have to pull it out maybe for a couple of minutes and then insert it back in and that will do the hard reset okay but first the soft reset would be through the menu options here so if your screen still works you want to go under the settings and then you will go under the system and you want to scroll all the way down. And here you will have the option Master Reset. You will press that and select yes. Now this will pretty much completely wipe your memory. So any kind of uh, phones that are connected, Bluetooth phones, Bluetooth devices, SD cards, everything will be removed from the system. Once you are ready, press yes. Warning, all data will be erased, continue, yes. Now this will take uh, a bit of time and this will completely reset the Ford Sync. Now if this uh, didn't fix your problem and you're still having issues, now I will show you how to do the hard reset. Okay, to do the hard reset you will have to pull out fuse number 29 which is located in a secondary fuse box just under the steering wheel. Now it's not too easy to access this fuse box. Um, it's gonna be just up here on the left side. Now my car is actually missing a cover here. I got it like this from the car auction. You'll have like a plastic cover here to remove it. You'll just have to remove these two screws, this one and this one right here and just pull it off. But once you do that, you will have access to the fuse box. Okay, so I'll turn the flash on my phone to show you this fuse box. I'll try to squeeze it inside. Okay, you will see the cover is right here. Now, now you want to remove the cover. To do that, you'll have two black tabs, one on this side, one on the opposite side. You want to press them together and pull it away. Okay. Okay, I, might, I got mine off and you want to check fuse number 29, actually pull it out. Here on the back side of the cover you will have a small fuse puller which you can use to remove that fuse or just use uh, nozzle plop pliers, whichever is easier for you. And that fuse is, I'm going to show it to you right now, this is the fuse right here, okay, let me squeeze in the phone. So yellow 20 amp fuse okay this is the one you want to pull it out and leave it out for a couple of minutes and then insert it back in and that will do the hard reboot of the fourth sink because this is the fuse responsible for power to fourth sink i won't be able to record how i pull it out but i'll pull it out now okay so this is the fuse now just insert it back in. Okay, so once that is done, uh, you'll see if that helps your problem. If not, most likely it will help if it's the, just a glitch in the system. Now, if this still doesn't fix it, there is one more thing you can do. But you will have to take the vehicle to a Ford dealership. And what they can do, they can update the software. So sometimes it's just a software issue and just by updating it that will fix the problems 
If not, then there could be some bigger problem with this uh, this unit itself or, or some kind of a wiring issue or who knows. But this is how you can do the reset and most likely that will fix it for you. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.